So at this point our hair is well cleansed, conditioned, and we are adding more of that uh, mouth of our second conditioner to protect our hair as it dries under the dryer just before we cut, taper, trim. And basically it also helps to help uh, her hair be more manageable. Bombing. Okay, so her hair is completely dry. So this is the kind of haircut where she wants a slight taper. Just about uh, the occipital region and also the temporal region. Not up to the skin. She almost wants nothing to be removed on top. So this means we're not going to make any big transformation just a few adjustments okay did i say the occipital region <laughs> well i meant to say the neck and the temporal region well it's about how you get it well i'm calling it a uh, light taper because looking at the size of her hair and then uh the neck on the sides she does not want to see skin kind of or if it's there then it really has to be slight so looking at the difference the difference between the low and the top it's going to be a light taper to achieve what uh, she wants exactly we could say maybe a week or two weeks of uh, growing taper after a serious or sharp taper well i hope you get exactly what we are trying to achieve here we are done well well structured and balanced so from here we're going to use a moisturizing shampoo to cleanse well, with a conditioner and then style curl using our styling gun. Adding some water products, a styling gun, and then we're going to follow with the sponge. We shall use the sponge on the other neck and also the temporal area where we can't use our fingers. So using the hair sponge, I'm gently rubbing or twisting it in a circular motion mm. over the hair. So to control the tightness of the curls or texture then you have to adjust the pressure and speed of the sponge and precisely that's what i'm doing i don't want it so tight well in my opinion when the foils are not so tight and a bit loose they look more realistic and usually more acceptable in office now that is basically for fussy hair what do you think i mean quite a number of people are still having a hard time accepting fussy in a wash and go so now once we are done with the hair on the bottom we now want to use our fingers to further define curls on top using the shingling method. Now something that I forgot to mention when tapering or cutting that I think is also very important is that when you want a light taper as I described, you may want to start with a bigger guard number so that you gradually move into the smaller ones as you get to the size um I mean the length of hair at the bottom that you want. That will make it easier to smoothly transition into slightly longer hair at that level for this type of haircut. Remember, this is not a low taper or a low fade haircut. If you like this so far, please give it a thumbs up. So from here, she's going to sit under the dryer. When it's dry, we're going to apply some oil to break the crust and we're done. So we are simply fluffing it, lifting it at the roots and that's it. Just look at that. After the cut and a refreshing wash and go, the natural hair texture of her hair is enhanced, revealing beautiful defined curl. This is so well framed. It's giving a clean, well defined neckline, generally defining her best features. Let me know what you think about the outfit. Rate it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.